the burial of the dead. April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dried tubers. Summer surprised us, coming over the Stamburgese with a shower of rain. We stopped in the colonnade and went on in sunlight into the Hofgarten and drank coffee and talked for an hour. Bin gar keine Raschen, stammen aus Litauen, er Deutsch. And when we were children, staying at the Archduke's, my cousins, he took me out on a sled, and I was frightened. He said, Mary, Mary, hold on tight, and down we went. In the mountains, there you feel free. I read much of the night, and go south. What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of the stony rubbish? Son of man, you cannot say or guess, for you know only a heap of broken images where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter, the cricket no relief, and the dry stone no sound of water. Only there is shadow under this red rock. Come in under the shadow of this red rock, and I will show you something different. Neither your shadow at morning striding behind you, or your shadow at evening rising to meet you. We'll show you fear in a handful of dust. Frisch wird der Wind, der Heimat zu, mein irisch Kind, wo weilest du? You gave me hyacinths first a year ago. They called me the hyacinth girl. Yet when we came back late, in the hyacinth garden, your arms full and your hair wet, could not speak. My eyes failed. I was neither living nor dead. I knew nothing. Looking into the heart of light, the silence. Ort und leer das Meer. Madame Sesostris, famous clairvoyante, had a bad cold. Nevertheless, is known to be the wisest woman in Europe with a wicked pack of cards. Here, said she, is your card, the drowned Phoenician sailor. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Look, here is Belladonna, the lady of the rocks, the lady of situations. Here is the man with three staves, and here is the wheel. And here is the one eyed merchant, and this card which is blank, is something he carries on his back, which I am forbidden to see. I do not find the hanged man. Fear death by water. I see crowds of people walking round in a ring. Thank you. If you see dear Mrs. Equitone, tell her I bring the horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. Unreal city, under the brown fog of a winter dawn. The crowd flowed over London Bridge, so many. I had not thought death had undone so many. Sighs, short and infrequent, were exhaled. And each man fixed his eyes before his feet, flowed up the hill and down King William Street to where St. Mary Woolnoth kept the hours, with a dead sound on the final stroke of nine. There I saw one I knew and stopped him, crying, Stetson, you, who were with me at the ships at Miley, that corpse you planted last year in your garden, has it begun to sprout? Will it bloom this year? Or has a sudden frost disturbed its bed? I'll keep the dog far hence that's friend to men, or with his nails he'll dig it up again. You, hypocrite lecteur, mon semblable, Mon frère. A game of chess. The chair she sat in. 
like a burnished throne, glowed on the marble where the glass held up by the standards wrought with fruited vines from which a golden cupidon peeped out. Another hit his eyes behind his wing, doubled the flames of seven branched candelabra, reflecting light upon the table as the glitter of her jewels rose to meet it from satin cases poured in rich profusion. In vials of ivory and colored glass, unstoppered lurked of strange synthetic perfumes, unguent, powdered or liquid, troubled, confused, and drowned the scents and odors. Stirred by the air that freshened from the window, these ascended and fattening the prolonged candle flames, flung their smoke into the laquieria, staring the pattern on the coffered ceiling. Footsteps shuffled on the stair, under the firelight, under the brush, her hair spread out in fiery points, glowed into words, then would be savagely still. My nerves are bad tonight. It's bad. Stay with me. Speak to me. Why do you never speak? Speak! What are you thinking of? What's thinking? What? I never know what you were thinking. Think! I think we're in Rat's Alley, where the dead men lost their bones. What is that noise? The wind under the door. What is that noise now? What is the wind doing? Nothing. Again, nothing. Do you know nothing? Do you see nothing? Do you remember nothing? I remember those pearls that were his eyes. Are you alive or not? Is there nothing in your head? But don't own oh, oh, that Shakespearean rag. It's so elegant, so intelligent. What shall I do now? What shall I do? I shall rush out as I am and walk the street with my hair down, sir. What shall we do tomorrow? What shall we ever do? The hot water at ten, and if it rains, a closed car at four. And we shall play a game of chess. Pressing lidless eyes and waiting for a knock on the door. The last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land, unheard. The nymphs are departed. Oh, sweet Thames, run softly till I am my son. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk. Chiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. Nymphs have departed. And their friends, the loitering heirs of city directors, departed. They've left no addresses. By the waters of Lehman, I sat down and wept. Sweet Thames. Run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. But at my back, in a cold blast, I hear the rattle of the bones and chuckle spread from ear to ear. <laughs> 